back to my channel. My name is Adana, aka the Afro Zen. And today I'll be reading for the Earth signs consisted of Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus for the week of August 16th to August 22nd. Okay, as I'm shuffling, welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time joining me. Thank you for being here. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Yeah. So let's see what energies are around the earth signs. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. So let's see at this moment. <clears throat> Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. What is the energies around Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus? So it feels like your cup of life, it's not filled. You feel very bottomless because if you turn over a cup, you know, and there's something inside of it, everything will fall out. So in this moment, in this energetic space, it feels like you are going through a moment where you don't feel loved. You don't feel respected. Okay. Next card is power. Okay. You have the power to change the situation at hand. But I feel like you're still waiting on a little bit more information before you decide to make that big break. Um, but just know that you hold the key. You hold the power to literally transforming or transitioning from this connection. Okay. Um, with this connection, so it feels like you guys keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like in and out, in and out. It's like a carousel, like a ride that just would never stop. Like no one wants to get off of this ride, right? And this ride is very toxic and it's to the point where you're becoming very numb with it. It's like, um, this ill represents that the shock factor, like the things that this person do, it does not bother. It doesn't, it doesn't affect you in that way or it doesn't shock you anymore because, it just feels like everything that they have done to you, cheated on you, given you STD, I hear STDs as well, lied on you, manipulated you in so many ways, taking money from you. Like they have really, really, really dug your back out, okay? I don't know if that's a Philly slang or whatever, or maybe I just made that join up, but this person is really chewing out your back and you are allowing them to keep doing this to you. That's not cool. So with this, it's like you don't want to fight them anymore. You just want to love them. You want to be in a loving and a committed relationship with them. But the person that is with you feels like they have a third party. They're bringing forth other people into this relationship. There's a lot of drama that's coming around. Um, some of you guys may have children and you are subjecting your children to this type of toxic energy or this toxic environment. Um, and it's not conducive for you or for your children if, this, if, if you do have children that resonate with you in that way. Um, now, in regards to uh, the endurance, like, you are tired. Like, you really find a way to escape from this. Like, like to say you escape temporarily. So, maybe you drink. There's a um, huge sign or energies of drinking. There could be smoking as well. There could be some even harder substance uh, like cocaine or crack. So, it feels like you do these things to escape because you really don't want to face what's going on at this moment. Okay? You just want to feel belong somewhere. You just want this person to love you for who you are. You want to feel like when you come home, you want them to love on you, to hug on you, to kiss on you, things of that nature. Because it feels like um, you're a person that's very, very affectionate, right? And you just don't feel like this person gives two Fs about you, okay? Let's see why. Why don't they, why don't they like, why don't they care about uh, earth signs? Capricorn, Virgo. Capricorn, Virgo, and uh, Taurus. Why don't they like them? What's going on? Why don't they like them? Why aren't they giving them the love that they seek from, from their partner? Yeah, a lot of infidelity that's going on. I keep hearing infidelity. I hear cheating. I hear lying. I also hear um, pregnancies. I hear abortions. Um... I hear talking behind your back. It feels like this person is really doing a number on you. Oh my God, yeah. So it feels like when y'all first started, everything was real copacetic. Everything was cool. And then as things start to transpire, things start to take place, I'm um, hearing two. So this could feels like two weeks or shoot, even two days in, okay? This is a past person that you have known from before. Could be an old friend, could be a friend of a friend, could be like a, you know, this is my cousin, but this is my friend at the same time. Like, it's just, you've known this person, but you really, really, truly don't know this person, 
right? This person does not want a family with you. I feel like they have mentioned that several times that they just kind of want to be an open free agent. And I feel like you feel that you can change them. Okay, you have to learn to take things at face value. If somebody is telling you this is what it is, you got to learn how to take, especially if it's a negative. They say, listen, I don't want no family with you. I just want to have a, a, a meaningless connection, relationship, whatever the case may be. That's what they're looking for. It's so it, it's 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 important to listen to what people are saying to you. Okay, you can't change someone because of what you think um, of what you want. So if you want the family and that person doesn't want the family, you can't change their mind about that. Um, they have made you very angry. So like, I, I feel like when you come home, you are always on high alert. Like you always angry. But like I said, nothing surprises you because of all of the things they have put you through. It doesn't surprise you anymore, but you don't feel right. Like you have a lot of sleepless night. You have headaches. You wake up with migraines. You probably cry through the night. Like this person is really digging out your bag. So you won't take the time to to uh, distance yourself from this person. You're not wanting to heal from this because you feel like um, if you decide to move forward that you may not receive love like this again. Let me tell y'all something, Earth Signs. This ain't no damn love. You hear what I'm telling you? This ain't no damn love. If no one can treat you with respect, right, as you're treating them with respect, if no one can give you the love that you're giving to them, that, that ain't love. That ain't love. So right now... They're asking you, spirit is asking you to heal yourself, okay? And if you don't do it, you may be forced. You may be forced into doing that, okay? Because I feel like something big is getting ready to happen. That's going to blow everything out the water, okay? And it's going to make you rebel. It's going to make you rebel. Look at her. Look at her, look at her face. She got this snug face like, man, and there's blood around as well too. Look at the trees. You see the blood? That's coming down so it feels like at this moment or soon enough you'll be looking for blood for this person i don't feel like it's physical blood it could be more so of a symbolism of blood but you're going to be out to the point where if okay if you cheating on me i'm gonna cheat on you too okay you have given them enough rope to hang themselves okay you've given them enough 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 and they just keep doing it there is like they're it's reckless. It's just reckless behavior. It's very toxic. You guys can't have a, a common converse or a normal conversation. There's a lot of miscommunication that's going on between you and this person. I also feel like for some of you guys, you may have um, brought forth a third party person involved and there could have been some kind of like an intimate of threesomes or foursomes or so. I feel like the person that you've been with, and this may not resonate with all, but may resonate with some. I feel like this person has introduced you to a lot of sexual things that you're not normally accustomed to because you really, really love them and you wanted to kind of like, quote unquote, salvage their relationship, okay? This card represents that what's in the dark is going to come to light, okay? So right now, everything is in the dark, but with due time, with due time, things are going to start to unravel like a goddamn string. So let's ask, how long, Spirit, how long is it going to take? How long before they see some answers? How long before they start seeing some messages as to what's transpiring in between this toxic connection? How long? All right, so I'm here in between four. So I'm here four and five. So this is about four or five weeks before you'll start to see some um, start to see some messages popping up for you in regards to what they're really doing. But I feel like once you start to really see them for who they are, you're not ready to face it because a, a part of you is still wanting to hold on to when you first met them. But when you first met them, it wasn't really the best. It wasn't it wasn't positive. It was very toxic from the beginning. So, um, there's a lot of red flags that you're not paying attention for. Okay. So your, your spirit guard or sorry, spirit guard, your spirit team. Wow. Spirit guard. Yeah. Your spirit team have been giving you tons and tons and eons and eons of messages and you're not looking for it. It's right in front of your face. It comes in so subtly that you normally bypass it. 
So spirit is asking for you to meditate. Okay, meditation brings a lot of answers. If you don't know how to meditate, um, you know, this is YouTube. Definitely go check out to see um, some pages on YouTube to see how to meditate. Uh, you can also do automatic writing as well too, or you can do scripting, okay? So this opportunity with this person is lost, basically saying that there's no more opportunity that could be had in this relationship because the relationship feels very sided, very one-sided, and it feels like you are doing all of the work and you are tired, you're wanting a break, you're wanting something, you, you wanting some things to change, okay? What needs to be changed? What needs to be changed? Don't let nobody be out here chewing out your back like that. What? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't let nobody out here be chewing out your back, y'all. What? All right, so some things that needs to be changed. First one is denial. You have to accept it for what it is. And you see it for what it is. Males running in and out. Females running in and out. The, the constant lying. They're calling, calling their phone at wee hours of the night. And, you know, you're trying to see for work. You have to get out of this denial stage. Okay? Um, love. Knowing that love, new love can potentially come in. But you have to work on self first in order to see that new love come in. Peace. You are the creator of your reality. So you have all of the ammunition. You have all of the pieces that you need to move forward if you do decide to do that, okay? So some changes that have to change is going back to you being peaceful, going back to when you were the most happiness or getting rid of things that no longer serve you. Get rid of this doubt. You have to change this doubt. You you have you 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 are intuitive. You 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 know exactly what's going on. But like I said, because you may have some history with this person, you're you're bypassing all of the red flags. And happiness. Change this happiness. Um, well, right now you don't feel happy. So they want you to change into being happy. Um, by moving forward, by releasing things that no longer serves you, by cutting the cord, by releasing them with love and starting to work on you. This is where real happiness begins. I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. Okay. Everything is all interconnected. Your mind, your body, your soul, your finances, your, your the physical part, the mental part, the spiritual part, everything is all interconnected. And if one thing starts to drift away, one thing starts to kind of crumble, everything else is going to fall as well too. So making sure your highest priority at this moment is to make sure you have happiness. All right. So that's all I have for the earth signs. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. If this has resonated with you in any way, shape, or form, please go ahead and like and subscribe and definitely hit that bell notification. Don't forget about my store where I have lots of goodies that you can definitely benefit from. I have Tub, which is a confidence spray. Sweet Yams is a sexual spray. And I also have Addiction, which people will have a natural addiction, a sexual addiction to you, okay? And I have some other goodies in store as well, too. So when you get some time, check that out. Um, if you're wanting to book a reading with me, all of that information will be in the uh the description so until next time earth signs i'm gonna talk to you soon peace